Hello knitters, Barbara Benson here. I am an independent knitwear designer who also likes to make videos here on my channel, Watch Barbara Knit, for you guys to watch. Um, I have a lot of fun making them. I have a little vlog for you today and because I have quite a few things to talk to you about. The first most obvious thing is hanging out back here. I released a new pattern last week. I think so. <laughs> it's gotten so crazy and everything's blurred together. I did a pattern tour for it and I will put a link to it in uh, the little drop downy majigger thingy that comes down. But I wanted to mention it here also. As you can see, this is one and there are actually three colors, but it is a huge shawl that is worked with a gradient kit from the Unique Sheep. And then there's alternating big bands of texture and then beaded lace because I love me some beads. And this one I really pushed myself on because I'm very much about precision, I guess you might say. I, I plan things out, it's very, very, you know what, I like predictable results. When I write my patterns, I want you guys to be able to like, like produce exactly what I've produced because you're looking at it. Now, if you want to make changes, you can totally make changes. I am all for changes. But if you want it to look exactly like what I've shown you, I want you to be able to do that. It's one of the reasons I try very hard not to knit with any really hard to get yarns. Um, but with this one, the beads are beautiful. They came from earthfair.com. And what I asked her to do is actually put together what she calls a bead soup of multiple different colors of beads and that all match the colors in the gradient. And then you use those multiple colors of beads to bead the contrasting lace. And the beads are applied randomly. And random was really, really hard for me. Um, but I did it. There are sometimes there are places where the same color bead right next to each other, a couple of them in the row. And I twitched when I did it, but I'm like, we're going to do this thing and we're going to do it random because I need to, you know, loosen up. I need, I, I need to, to, to let go my grip a little bit. So if you like beads and one of the benefits of the whole bead soup thing is you can get a bunch of different colors of beads without having to buy like multiple giant tubes of beads to get a nice mix. So Earth Fair actually has all three of the colorways in kits and matched up with the complementary beads. So I will put a link in the description so you can see where she's selling those kits. So if you want to make exactly one of the shawls, in one of the colors, those colors are exclusive to Earth Fair, but you know, Unique Sheep, Unique Sheep has lots of different colors and I think it would probably work with other gradients. So I can't wait to see what other people do with my new shawl and it's called Earthbound Misfit. Super excited about that. Um, and I forgot to mention at the beginning, anything that I talk about here, or if you wanna see a link to my patterns, check in the description below and I will have fun, fun links. Last vlog, I chatted with you about a swatch <laughs> that I didn't get. It's a mess on my desk, um, but it was a slip stitch swatch. And I asked you guys if you would like to see socks in that swatch. And the answer from many of you was yes, yes, socks in that swatch. So I contacted the fiber seed because that is what the swatch was in. And she sent me, looky there. So this is the contrast color. I think it's like aqua or something. And this is, it's called mahi, right? And I think it's mahi after the mahi mahi, the dolphin, the fish dolphin, not like the hee 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 flipper dolphin, but like the actual dolphin fish, which is very tasty. And, you know, when you tell people you're eating dolphin, they kind of give you this side. They're like, so mahi mahi is what they do on menus. So this is the variegated 
that will be part of the sock. I have been, okay, let me, how oh, I, spinny, spinny, spinny. There we go. And look, good as new and a little loose. So these are the two colors that I will be working on the sock. And I have, I promise you guys, I've been working on this sock. So I have done swatches. Now these swatches are in the fiber seed sprout, but I didn't want to like um, bust into, actually I got started before these, these showed up. This is some existing sprout that I had, which is what this label is actually from. And this color, Mayflowers Collection Prism. Back to something I said earlier. I have this color and I absolutely adore it. Uh, Lindsay at the Fiber Seed does this really cool thing where every month she puts out a limited colorway that she uses experimental dye techniques on. And they are super cool. And this one, Mayflowers, obviously was the May one. And it was called Prism. And this is what it looked like. So what it is, is you've got this long run of white and then you get this like prismatic effect that's just the color. And it's super cool and I loved it so much that I thought the technique was fascinating. Um, but as I said, it was a limited edition colorway and I don't like to design in something that you guys can't get yourself in the exact thing. So I used it for swatching because I love it. Um, this was my first swatch and then a second swatch. So I was working on figuring out what gauge to work at. What gauge do you guys like to work at? Do you like knitting socks on ones or twos or zeros? Nah, don't say zeros because I'm not going to do zeros. <laughs> but I, I did this one first and that was me playing with the toe increase thing. You notice I did not... <laughs> I did not actually do the toe up, but on this one, I actually did the Jenny's uh, magic cast on e majigger thing. And I did a little bit of the stitch pattern just to see how it was going to work. And I'm having to modify it a bit because I'm working at such a tight gauge to give you a good sock. I'm actually going to be working in like an extra yarn over in a couple places that you drop so that it gives you so that the the stitch slip stitches don't pull in as much it's funny so the way that this uh variegated worked every single one of my slips ended up on a white in this swatch but in this swatch you can see there was a couple like a couple of lifted stitches coming out in the color and here i messed up something so i want to show you this guy you guys this it's a little bit of the process and I go through many, many swatches and all kinds of stuff and beautiful, beautiful yarn in my cool bag. Have I shown you guys this bag? <laughs> this is my, one of my bags um, here. Slip Stitch Studios. And look, it's got dinosaurs and it is a Firefly slash Serenity themed bag. At one point it does say, yeah. Curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal. When I saw this one, I just had to have it because I'm a giant dork. But it's a great bag. It's one of these little bags. It's great for a sock. So that is, I should probably put the swatches inside the bag. It's got one of these little uh, plastic drawstringy things that actually keep them up on that one. So all of these are going to the side. I'm not going to put it to this side because I'll drop it on my laptop and then it'll hit keys and that's not a good plan. And, um, oh, I have the, <laughs> so I received some interchangeable needles from Knit Picks a while back and I wanted to spend some time knitting with them before I talked to you guys about them. And it was really funny because, so here's the empty package that they came in. And when I decided, hey, it's time to make this video, I had to scramble around looking for all of the needles because they had managed to work their way into multiple different swatches and projects. And I can honestly, I say, I, I found it surprising because I am not much of a wooden needle kind of person. I knit tightly and I tend to focus and I like pointy things because I do a lot of manipulative work. 
And I tend to really like um, your, your metal needles. But I wanted to give these a try and I found them all. So this is what the package came in. And you can totally use this package. It's got, you can open up to get the needles out. And then it's got this little, well, no, this you open up and the, you can put notions in there. And this, it pops open. So if you wanted to keep it in here, you can. This is the Options Interchangeable Majestic Wood Needle Set. But I put them all into the super cool interchangeable padded. This is cool. I, I did a review on a bunch of nitpicks bags. I'll put a link up here. But let me show these to you. So I found them all. I got them all out of the various projects. And that's one of the great things about interchangeables. You can screw them off. And even if you weren't done, you put the little cappy guys on. Cappy guys. Okay. Cappy guys. I have the cappy guys in this zipper. So you put the little cappy guys on the end and your knitting can be still on them and you can set it aside. Um, I just pull them out of swatches. <laughs> I have a bad habit of doing that. So it comes with these little, the cappy guys. And then it comes with the key. If you have ever had any interchangeable needle sets, you are, I'm sure you recognize the key. And it comes with these different cable lengths. So let's see what it says. Does it tell me how many? No, nope. I will find the information and put it in below. It came with four and they're of two different lengths, a short one and a longer one. I'll put the information below, but they're great. And as you can see, I had these like curled up really tight and stored in the zipper of this. And you can see they just pretty much flopped back out. So they don't have a lot of that memory that you sometimes fight. And the joins between the needle tip and here, when you put it on, are really nice. I didn't get any snags. I also, I pearl funny. And when I pearl, a lot of interchangeables will unscrew themselves um, because of how I pearl. And I think it's cause I'm also, cause I'm at Connell. So you put the little key thing in this little hole thing and you tighten it down. So there it is. Now this is the fat one. This is the 11. Is it focused? Mm, there we go. And it, this set goes all the way down to four, which is this little tiny guy right here. But what I found is that the finish on these needles are really much, much slicker than I expected them to be. Little bit of grab, so they're fine for some of your slipperier yarns, but I was not fighting them to the extent that I tend to fight wood. So I was really pleased and found myself going to these and knitting with them. And even this big needle has a really nice tip on it. Um, I, was, I did some cables with it and the tip really worked great. So I, even though I am not the world's biggest wooden needle fan, I can see myself getting a lot of use out of these and I don't have any problem or any reservations recommending them to you. I really enjoyed using them. I love the fact that the number, I, you, I know you can't see that. There's a number engraved on this metal ferrule that tells you, and all the way down to the four, it tells you what size the tips are. So. If you can't find your needle gauge, you can actually tell what size they are. I think that's a great element. And they're beautiful. I mean, aren't they gorgeous? Now, I locked it down with the key. And the thing is, you really need the key to get them back off. Because I couldn't get them off just with my hands, which bodes well for whether or not they're going to stay. So, the Knit Picks Options Majestic Wood Needle Interchangeable Set. I'm going to say yay. And even if you're not a wooden, well, if you're a wooden needle fan, go, definitely go for it. If you're not a wooden needle fan, you might want to give them a chance because I, I really liked them and I will definitely be knitting with them. So you take these guys and you stick them back in the thingy, this zipper pouch right there. And I'm going to stick these back in here. And then now I don't have to scramble all over 
my studio to find them and they're squishy so excellent <laughs> and finally what I want to talk to and I'm afraid there's no show and tell on this one because it's just me talking I have been thinking I wanted to let you guys know how much I appreciate every single comment that I get below these videos. I read them all and I do my very best to reply to everyone. Um, sometimes I might be a little late, but I really try. And I also, if you read the comments on a few of the videos, you will see what might be seem an odd comment. A lot of times it's just like the little uh, winky emoticon, you know, the, the semicolon thing from an EGB113. And I wanted to let you guys know that's my son and he actually thinks it's kind of cool that i do youtube videos and again and makes a comment so if you see an odd comment or something a little strange then that is him and actually i've also gotten a comment he has told his little friends that his mommy is a youtuber and sometimes his little friends pop up so if you see an odd comment that i've responded to and you're like, hmm, that's weird. It's probably a nine-year-old, so don't worry about it. That being said, I've been thinking about the end of the year. I've been thinking about December. And you know those memes? I don't know if they have shown up on your Facebook, but the memes where it's like how many different holidays of all the different, different um, international religions are in December, which makes sense. It's the end of the year, it's the solstice, we're just the time to get thanks, the harvest, all of those kinds of things. And I wanted to have some kind of event in December. And I also wanted to say thank you to you guys for, for supporting me all year and, and making this such a wonderful experience. So, so I've decided to have what I'm calling a gift extravaganza. It, it really just needs jazz hands. Gift extravaganza. I've decided that every day in the month of December, so all 31 days, I am going to put one of my patterns on for 50% off, which is spice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use YouTube and I'm going to use Instagram. So you, you can either check back here every day or check my Instagram every day or a combination of both. And you will see, I will announce which pattern is on sale and give you a coupon code for you to, if you're interested in that pattern, then you can go get it for 50% off. So there's gonna be 31 of my patterns and I went through and I picked them out and I made sure that they are all my new patterns. They're, it's not just old patterns. And I ranked in Ravelry by, by the number of love hearts they had. And because I have more than 31 patterns, so which ones I dropped were the ones that are less popular. So it's my newer patterns. It's my most popular patterns. This isn't just me trying to like get you to buy maybe some not so happy patterns these are my this is my best work and i really want to share it with you now the i'm in eastern standard time so the sale will start you know just after midnight on that day and i'm going to pre-record stuff so it, and set the thing so it'll upload so it's um, just after midnight eastern standard time and it will go from that entire day. For 24 hours, that pattern will be on sale. And then the next day, a new pattern will come on sale for 31 days. Um, I'm pretty excited about this. I thought the gift extravaganza was kind of funny. I was trying to describe what I was going to do to someone. I'm like, it's like a gift extravagant gift. Uh. So I made up a word. I like making up words. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you might want to check. I'll put a link below. And, you know, if you are have not yet subscribed to my channel, this might be a time to do it so you get a notification every day when I upload the new video about um, what the pattern that's on sale is. So, thank you guys so much for watching my vlog. If you like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. 
And as I just said, if you would like to subscribe to my channel, you will get notified whenever I upload a no new video. So it's the end of November and we're going to get ready for December. I can't wait to share the rest of the year with you. Thank you guys so much.